Hey, what's up, my crowns and tiaras? Welcome to Etoxic Teen Lounge. Everything in this video is allegedly. Let's talk. We got Azalea Banks, Sexy Red, Nicki Minaj, Tink, and Mellow Bucks, Erica Banks, and Amy Lucian, whatever how you would say her name, Arrogant Tay, and Glorilla. All right, so let's get into the antics. So Azalea Banks, all right, went online and mentioned Beyonce. And we about to get into what she had to say, but people are not liking her, especially the beehives, okay? Now, my thing about her is this. She definitely speaks her mind. A lot of people don't like what she has to say, but it is what it is. She's going to say whatever she wants to say. Now, somebody said Beyonce should have sampled you on the Renaissance. She said she knew better. And because I would have sued her, Sony, Columbia, Parkwood, Tidal, and Blue Ivy. Then she says she's going to sue even um, Jay-Z's dreads off his head. She says, I'm not the one. Okay, this is what she's saying. Just because somebody said Beyonce should sample her on Renaissance. Now, and that's why her career will never get off the floor and Blue Ivy is already worth more than her. I know that's right. The Beehive was just siding with her because of what she said about Nikki and Barbie were. Let's see how they feel now. She even mentioned Blue Ivy, a child. Does she even have good music to even sample? All right, y'all. Laugh out loud. I hope she can afford more than one lawyer because woo child. Imagine how tired we are of Azalea's bitterness against the entire industry. She's so petty. Okay, so people are not liking this azalea now azalea banks like i said she's always gonna say how she feels about certain things especially in the industry maybe she isn't happy of where she at right now let's look at this <laughs> embarrassing so embarrassing she was out there with her whole breasts <laughs> out not them booing her and on top of that the comments were saying she looked like the monster from monsters inc the body her body looked like monster inc i am just done this is not the type of image that you want as a artist in the industry she's doing it to herself because opinions are opinions but once you start disrespecting and bullying and just going all in targeting people people are not going to end up liking you so how do y'all feel about Azalea Banks? What she said about Beyonce? What she said about anybody? Let me know down in the comments below. Now, Sexy Red is in here. Y'all already know about the Drake little kiss on her cheek and everybody is exaggerating about the situation. Now, my thing is this. If her and Drake is effing around, then they are effing around. It's not, not, not going to be a shocker, okay? Drake is Drake. She's a female. Things are going to happen. Whatever. I just keep seeing pictures of you and Drake. Pictures of you and Drake. What's going on with you and Drake? Y'all got a record coming? We be I'm just playing. That's my people's. <laughs> we got a song coming out. Do y'all really? I mean, supposed to be, but I did some on his song. He sent me a beat, and I had rap for him or whatever. He was so we gonna see if he, if he dropped that bitch. Now, another thing about Sexy Red, in my opinion, she is not a lyrical person, okay? She makes some good songs people could twerk to, people could vibe to, people could relate to cool but she's not a lyricist if you really listen to her lyrics is not really giving much oh oh my gosh she's a rapper but if her and drake do have something coming out i would love to hear it because i'm all about music now y'all know Nicki minaj album is coming out i think in november okay november so she is every single time on the internet letting everybody know when her album is coming out and she also want to say this she said they telling on everybody oh my god how much longer until 11 17 23 guys pink friday 2 so this is her just saying that she can't wait for her album to drop now here she's saying the same thing you know she's you know just letting everybody know when it's coming out right here somebody said Nicki minaj is coming to call of duty and she said sure is she sure is okay remember this was supposed to have been been out but i guess it's about to be call of duty about to put it out on there okay good for her um 11 17 23 once again so we already know the album um 
And then on here, she's saying, see y'all on 11th. Listen, we understand the album is coming and we are all furry. We really love to hear what you got on that album. But to me, I'm thinking that she might have some subliminals coming up on here. Now, here we go. How far away is 11, 17, 23? Now, this is all she can say. A lot of people was out there making their music. So she's letting it be known. Now, JT said, I had a girl's night with my love last night. I can't get over it. She's prettier in person and we both love food. Now, don't tell me this is the first time that you met her. July 12th? And you just been... You went... Oh, my God. She been did a feature with her. So, it's like she never saw her in person. That's crazy. But my thing is this, y'all. I love to hear that she's promoting her album, which is months away. We're all for... We've been waiting for an album for her and for Cardi, okay? But my thing is this. What is she going to have on this album? Because she's really waiting for everybody to hear what she got to say on this album. Now, is she going to be upfront about a lot of things, in a, you know, with the enemies that she got? Is she going to be targeting some people? Because I think she is. She's going to be coming for a lot of people, I think, in this album. What do y'all think? Tink and Mellow Bucks is about to come out with a song called Her Love Story. When I tell y'all, this is going to be my new favorite bop when it comes out. Because, first of all, Tink, I love how her sound is. I love her as a rap r and artist. And Mellow Bucks can definitely rap. Her, her sound, everything is fire. So, if y'all heard this little sample, let me know down in the comments below. Are y'all ready for this Hood Love Story? Because I sure am, okay? This is a perfect combination, and I feel like every female in the industry should be working together and stop all this pity, patty, beefing, little petty child and stuff. Like, nobody got time for that. But anyway, comment down below if you love Tank and if you love Mellow Bucks. Or if you side with one over the other, let me know down in the comments below because I'm here for it. Erica Banks and Amy is going back and forth, okay, over chaotic, okay? This is a love and hip-hop thing. I'm pretty sure this is a love and hip-hop thing because there's always some drama up on here, all right? So, the Neighborhood Talk had put out, Neighbors, y'all here for Erica Banks and chaotic because she had put her video out or whatever. Amy under there saying he was scratching his nose in my crack just hours before, but get it, girl, that sounds like some hating stuff. Like, uh, let's get straight into it, all right? So, basically, y'all stream my new single, Appreciate Me. Link in my bio. That is chaotic underneath the blog, okay? That's what he had to say about the mess that's going on. Also, Amy is sadly delusional, like, be for real. This is what Erica Banks had put out, okay? Now, let's get into it. So, Amy said, and you, my dear Erica, are as twisted and confused as them fully aged big swoops swoop away baby now listen to erica now erica definitely has something to say but she wasn't really going back and forth back and forth but let's look at the mess that she had to say she says delusional is the new same okay of course she's talking about amy now she also says my baby hairs are bigger than her career and if she would just relax them strong shoulders and breathe out she wouldn't be so tight sis just needs a nap chaotic is saying she needs some silk milk not them teaming up on amy i feel like chaotic is picking a side because he like erica more but he tried it with amy now this is a love and hip-hop thing like i said right here in this clip in this clip that i've seen chaotic had them both looking crazy amy thought she was gonna be the lead um female in the video he told both of them that they was the lead female. Look at their faces. You can't see Amy's. But this was, like, embarrassing because y'all on the internet going back and forth about this man. This man gives me fruity vibes. That's just what he's giving me sassy, okay? Now, Amy, she went on her stories, y'all, and she has some things that she had to say. She says, it's why the girls are mad. So she's putting out her songs, okay? Now, she put out this song, and she says, if you new here, welcome to a real rap girl's glow up. Now, here, try to play nice, okay? She's putting out her music. Okay, last time I'm going to speak on this, I do not want Chaotic. I told him he is for everybody. That's when he reached down and grabbed for Erica. I bowed out the situation. Erica just commented that I'm delusional. 
As you see, he bought her my same wig, but she extended her baby hair. He put her in the exact same outfit as me three weeks later, and boom, she became delusional. I personally think they look cute together. Let them be happy. Now, check that. Big booty. Fade your voice. Polyester relationship, okay? I'm sorry, but it's embarrassing all around. Amy shouldn't be addressing nothing about this, especially when it's not your man. Y'all be acting crazy and only mentioning the sexual things done. The very least thing a man is going to do is have sex with you. I wouldn't dare waste my time going back and forth about no man that ain't mine. You have too much money to even be focused. That's one. It's plenty more. I'm mad about this bullcrap drama. Like, please stop. Ugh. Amy took chaotic flirting as a joke. Friend zoned him and is backfired. Now she hating on him and Erica B. Love and hip hop ATL. Somebody says Amy knows she made it clear multiple times her and chaotic chaotic were just friends. Now seeing him flirting gives someone else that attention. She is feeling some type of way. Girl, just say you kind of like him. Laugh out loud. Child, this storyline with chaotic Erica and Amy is forced because what the f. He liked the dude in high school always asking for a hug. It's giving weird. Amy and Erica really beefing about chaotic is very comical to me. Yeah, it's giving very much, what are y'all doing? Chaotic over there laughing on the side for real, for real, while y'all bickering back and forth as if he's really the man. Remember when he was explaining the kiss that he gave Amy to Scrappy and Scrappy was like, Ugh, he looked like he was uncomfortable. I seen the clip and it's ew, chaotic. I don't know what y'all see in him because his personality, let alone, gives creep. It gives very much sassy. I'm telling you, it gives I may gotta wear a dress. But anyway, that's my opinion on this. I feel like Erica Banks and um Amy need to focus on their music because not none of them really is in headlights like Nikki and Cardi and Lotto and Ice Spice and Sexy Red. None of them is up there like that. I'm sorry, but I'm not sorry. So they need to focus on their music and what they're going to do when Living Hip Hop finishes because not everybody, you know, becomes successful and starts off after loving hip-hop okay but um yeah how do y'all feel about the situation do y'all think that it's petty and childish for these grown women to be going back and forth for a competition for a man that's not even theirs now eric and tay okay he is online and is given very much he is depressed okay let's get into what he had to say on his stories and let's keep him in our prayers now he says I be needing something to ease my heart and pain and I don't want to do pills. So I'm going to smoke for a little bit until I'm back to myself. Everybody just pray for strength for me. Now he's putting music out like uh, um, Oblivion by Janae Aiko. He also putting out stuff with DJ Khaled, Grateful. It seems like he's very in a sad depression moment. Now he says never laugh at others hurt and pain. Because the tables always turn. You really got to pray and keep moving forward. But the tables always turn. Remember that. I guess people was online laughing about it. But yes, that is not a laughing subject, okay? Because a lot of people go through things. And when I tell you life in itself is a struggle, it's an obstacle, it's always something. When you feel like you're on top, something always come and it's knock you a couple notches down. But you got to keep your head up high, okay? And I'm telling y'all right now, alcohol and drugs and all of that is not gonna help anything go away it might relieve a little bit of your mind or pain or whatever in that moment but your issues are still gonna be there so never turn to a substance okay thinking that's gonna change your problems it's not Update, update on Glorilla. Y'all already know the rent and sunglasses thing was going around and the security came and snatched it. I did this in my last video. I talked about it, but Glorilla finally spoke out, y'all, when I tell y'all. And when I tell you what, this is her response to that. She really just trying to comfort people because of the opinions that they had about the situation. We all seen it. Now, look at what she had to say. She says, I ain't tell them to do nothing. Shut the F up talking to me. She is offended. Now, somebody says, you should address it, sis. That wasn't right how they snatched them back like that. How would you feel if you went to a concert and security snatched something that the performer threw to you? Even if you were not aware they did it, fix it. Come on, big glow. 
Now, I put this comment out there because I agree with this. Now, listen, you are the celebrity. Now, yes, they have stylists. They have their team. A lot of people do things that the, the, the artists don't even know about. But I feel like artists should always be on point because it affects them and their image. Because, you see, when that happened, her security came and got the sunglasses that automatically went to Clarilla because that is her people. That is her team. Reach out to that fan. Make it up so I don't look like you some broke celebrity that really don't got no money that can't afford them rented glasses that's 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 my thing about it like i don't i don't even feel like that whole thing was necessary because why was they thirsty like that like i never really seen no stuff like that at all for real for real but it is what it is how y'all feel about the situation now i already said everything i had to say regarding everything because y'all know i already do my recap and see if i have anything else more to say at the end but i saw everything that i had to say regarding everything that i stated in this video but if you have anything that y'all would like for me to talk about, hit up Etoxic Tea Lounge, y'all, right? That is my Instagram, okay? Etoxic Tea Lounge 2 is the backup. Make sure y'all go follow that also. And y'all already know I got y'all, so make sure y'all stay tuned. And I'll see y'all in the next video. Toodaloo.